Jeannie Becker is a global fashion icon who made history for Canadian television. Now, we all know her as the host of fashion television. It was just Jeannie, her microphone, and a cameraman who chased down top models and designers for interviews and took viewers behind the scenes at exclusive runway shows. Man, I was living in the prairies, I was watching fashion television, and I felt like I was in the know. Fans of Jeannie will know that she was diagnosed, diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2022. She's been very open about her journey ever since. She's with us in studio for an update this morning. I, I feel like saying welcome back oh, to that, this building. And that's what it feels like. I'm getting all these flashbacks. It's so great being back here. Wow. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, uh, all clear in terms of the cancer. And that's been uh, quite the journey. Wonderful. Honestly, I am Marie, I would say it was the most extraordinary year and a half of my life, you know, what I've been through. Um, I learned so much about myself. Mm -hmm. I learned so much about uh, about medicine. I learned so much about human nature and, yeah. and people and the support that I got. Uh, it's been incredible. You really approached this, and I, I watched you on social media, as I know thousands of other people did, like a journalist. You asked a lot of questions, you shared your stories. Uh, before having your surgery, your doctor suggested to try out some new technology for detecting tumors. So what was that, and then how did it help you? Well, uh, you know, that's one thing that I was just blown away by, the advancements that have been made in this field are just phenomenal. Um, for example, one, one little thing that I had was a tiny little seed. Um, it, it's a, a marker invented by this wonderful Canadian company called Molly Surgical. And uh, the Molly, they call it, they implant it into your breast at the site of the tumor to make it easy for the surgeon to locate exactly wow. where they have to operate. Uh, it, it, that that was incredible. Um, but there was just so much that I think people really have to understand about of the fear surrounding this disease because cancer is not, you know, what it used to be. Um, cancer is definitely not a death sentence in a lot of cases. Um, and that's my mission now to really try and eradicate the fear and, um, and normalize the conversation surrounding cancer because uh, it was a very interesting, edifying journey, no question. Well, in the same way that you did this with fashion, this is how you've approached your journey through cancer. It was you and sometimes just your, your iPhone and you were recording what was happening and you took us through the highs and you took us through the lows and some of the dark moments. How did you get through some of the lower moments? The fact that I shared my journey with uh, all my followers and all these people that have grown up watching me and that have been with me for so many years in some way anyway, I think that really, really helped me immeasurably. Hmm. I know it's not easy for a lot of people to share their journeys and for me as a public figure, it would be hypocritical that I felt not to share my journey because uh, my life's always been an open book. The messages and the direct DMs that I would get, the comments on Instagram that I would get from people from the moment that I announced my diagnosis, and that's the first day I sat in the chemo chair, were so heart swelling, Anne Marie. I can't tell you. It really restored my faith in human nature. Um, it, it, it's been, that's been the most wondrous thing about the journey, the love and support I got. And some days mm. I'd be sitting there in the chemo chair feeling a little sorry for myself. All I have to do is open up Instagram and start reading the messages and <laughs> wow. That, that was really the wind beneath my wings, and no you, question. You weren't alone. One of the first people, in fact, to reach out to you, however, was your good friend Linda Evangelista. And you know, I love this, there you are together very recently. Uh -huh. And I, you know, I was watching the Supermodels documentary recently and you pop up and Linda's there. You know, what did you guys talk about on that day that she reached out? She reached out to me as soon as she found out that I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And at that time, no one had known that she had breast cancer. She hadn't told anyone. She said, I'm gonna share something with you. I haven't told anyone, but about three or four years ago, I had breast cancer too. And it's like, wow. so. All of a sudden, you know, the sisterhood was, you know, yeah. it just accelerated. It was just wonderful. I felt in, in, that instant bond with her, although we had a bond from all the years in the fashion trenches. Yeah. And it was just a wonderful uh, conversation. Jimmy, uh, you know time, and we've got to go, but uh, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Pleasure. Come back anytime. Okay, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.